Once it leaves our hands and homes, most of us don't think of where garbage goes. Out of sight, out of mind. Taking everyday waste. It's top of mind here, but it's still mostly out of sight. Underneath these rocks at Heartland Landfill sits mountains of garbage breaking down. The raw biogas then flows up these pipes by way of a vacuum, and as of today, gets harvested in a new home. Yes, it's called the Waga Box. Waga is a French company hired by the CRD to build this, a tidy little plant that captures and cleans the gas from garbage. Uh, when you put a banana peel or some uh, old cardboard in your trash, it goes into the landfill and it will produce biogas. It replaces the old gas to electricity plant that was decommissioned at Heartland in 2023. Renewable natural gas production is about 50% more efficient, and the Wagga box cost mega bucks. But Wanda Fuca Malahat MLA Dana Lajeunesse says the $32 million is the best kind of investment. This is the type of innovation that we need to get us out of the crisis, the current crisis that we have in terms of climate change. Pulling the energy from the land received the blessing of Elder May Sam, accompanied by Chief Tanya Jimmy of Sacum First Nation. The renewable natural gas plant is the first of its kind in Vancouver Island. The CRD owns it. Waga Energy will run it over the course of 25 years. The CRD sells the gas to Fortis, BC. Then you buy it from there. It's renewable because we will never stop creating garbage and lots of it. If we can capture that and use it as, as an energy source, that, that's a good thing. To speak in terms few of us understand, the Wagga Box can pump out 360,000 gigajoules of energy per year. Broken down, one gigajoule is equal to about 277 kilowatt hours of electricity. Heartland serves about 460,000 people. Don't feel too bad if one day you put a banana peel in a trash can because it will produce energy. So in a way, we're all pitching in.